Please note, before watching this video, uh, it does contain some spoilers for the Guardian Games event uh, 2021. So, obviously, if you don't want to be spoiled for that, please don't watch this video. But other than that, I hope you uh, enjoy the video. Hello, Guardians. How's it going? So, I thought today I'd pop on real quick just to talk about Guardian Games very briefly and what I've seen from uh, uh, Destiny News Plus. It's a Twitter account called Destiny News... or. It's at is at Desti News Calm. And uh, basically, uh, well, for the start of it, like here on screen are like the images of the um, new Guardian game stuff. But other than that, let's talk about this little bit that I've just scrolled on and found here. So according to uh, Destiny News, and they got this source from Destiny Sets, which is subject to change, or destinysets.com, sorry. Uh, so it looks like Guardian Games 2021 will be focused heavily on playlist strikes. Class specific strike playlist for Titans, Warlocks, and Hunters, and Guardian Games modifiers, Bronze, Silver, and Gold. So if I open this image up, all I see is here. So Guardian Games strikes Hunters, and it just says Hunters band together to take on Vanguard strikes, and well, <laughs> it literally just says that for the other two as well, I just realized, but there's that. And there's obviously that placeholder icon again for the bronze, silver, and gold Guardian Games thing. So it says for the bronze one, melee and grenade abilities deal more damage and recharge much faster. Elemental damage is increased from Guardian sources. For silver, we have melee and grenade abilities recharge faster, elemental damage increased from Guardian sources, and there's more power ammo available. And then for Guardian Games gold, health, shields, and recovery are increased. Kinetic weapons deal more damage. Now, I'm just thinking about this briefly, right? I wonder if any of this applies to uh, the Nightfall ordeals or even to the Grandmasters. Could you imagine, like, having a little bit of a boost just for them? I don't know, it's just a th eh, throwaway thought, thought, thought. I'm sorry, I can't speak half the time. But anyway, if I move back up to Twitter, I will find... Here's the image that I showed you guys already. So, first image is the Warlock's armor, which... Wow, that looks pretty nice. I wonder how much bright dust that's... I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that immediately. Um, you know, it looks really good because, well, as compared to last year, we got, like, the mark and then the rest of the armor was, like, in Eververse. But that's okay, honestly, because, like, what what you expect? Like, it's Eververse, man. We, we need, like... We always need to put a thing in the background, Eververse ornaments in, you know, to make Bungie some more money. And plus, I just noticed that from a comment here that they were talking about, like, it's Olympic-style gear. And I just realized in the background that there's three rings in the background, one representing Titan, Warlock, and then Hunters, like uh, red, yellow, and blue, which is a cool looking um, symbol for the background for that. It's just a little thing I noticed just there. Uh, next, we have the Titans. For some reason, for some reason on my screen, this, I don't know if it looks the same for you guys, but it looks really white and red. I'm just going to say that much. It kind of just looks amusing. And his arms look a bit small. But then again, these are like probably like maybe temporary images they put in or maybe it's the way they were pulled out of the database they weren't pulled out correctly or some shit i don't know i'm not like a data mining master so don't quote me on that and the last set of armor is the hunters which is blue and as far as i'm aware i think that's a blue cloak and if i look at the other two yeah so like they have a lot of holographic stuff on them even like the titan mark and the hunter cloak are all like holographic looking which is pretty cool and the um dots on the hunter's uh, stomach in particular reminds me of destiny one for some reason i don't know maybe it's like the srl event had thing and it's pretty similar to that but yeah at least we know now like if strikes are going to be the main focus for this um guardian games we know it's not going to be srl which honestly we're kind of expecting at this point because like we're four years into destiny 2 now and we Still don't have Vesrael, which is fine. It's okay. Bungie, I'm just saying, right? Use the patrol areas, right? Just set up random checkpoints, boom. Or even make a new um, patrol type for the event, right? So, like, you know the way you like, get precision shots on Vex and stuff on Europa, for example? What if there's one where it's like them uh, beams from the Dreadnought, where you just run after them and you have to get them in a certain amount of time? Except it's literally, like, the... Uh, flagpoles i guess you'd call them from srl and destiny one anyway again the nurse spitball thought and the last two images i'm seeing here i don't think there's any more so we have the uh well i'm just gonna call it chug chug ghost because that's where i saw this first it was actually a meme of um the fortnite chug chug uh song we got a number one victory royale yeah fortnite we about to get down which slaps by the way uh, if you haven't already listened to it and then the other uh, ghost show we have here is a tennis ball and it looks like it might have like a bit of a oh no it doesn't sorry that's just the um 
warlock ring behind it. It made it look like there was a hologram surrounding it. But, you know, like, <laughs> there was a comment, I think. Yeah, I need an emo uh, where that comes with the water bottle or the water bottle shell where you actually drink from your ghost. That'd be funny to see how your ghost would react to that. And that's from... What's his at? At Raptor Thumbs. There you go. So, yeah, no. I, 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 they look all right. But personally, I don't bother with ghost shells anymore because, like... I can put blinding light onto anything I want. I can customize any ghost I want. I'd only really buy them if I really wanted them. And I'm not going to lie, I don't think I'm going to buy them. Unless, like, I have a lot of bright dust and I know I can afford it, then I will. But my, right now, my objective is to save up bright dust for um, the Halloween uh, dinosaur costume. So, yeah. And I do believe that's it. So, yeah, guys, that's really all for the Destiny news. Just real quick, I'm going to look up. So, yeah, remember, Guardians, on the... Uh, 20th of April is when Guardian Games begins, and May 9th is when it ends. Perfect timing, just when my two exams are. Good job, Bungie. It always happens, man. Every time there's an event or something going on in Destiny, I always have to be doing exams. Anyway, sorry, enough of my complaining. So yeah. Uh, oh, and also don't forget that the Guardian Games closing ceremony is from uh, May 7th to 9th. Anyway, thank you guys and Guardians so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Dislike if you didn't like it, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. And I'll see you guardians in another video. Goodbye.